Salut l'Australie, bienvenue au Tour de France. Good morning everyone. So this morning I was going to start the vlog with um, the fact that I surpassed 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and it was going to be a happy vlog it was going to be a happy start to the day but I woke up this morning to the news that some maniac had driven a truck through uh, a whole heap of families watching the fireworks uh, in Nice and it's literally it's got to be 130 miles down the road it's not far from where we're staying so it's very close to home um, for, for how I feel right now and I'm absolutely devastated that 84 people have been killed. Uh, I just want to say my thoughts uh, are with the families uh, of everybody involved and I'm really rattled by this one. It's, te it's just terrible, so um, yeah. So we are at the start of today's stage, the time trial. You can see there's people everywhere, the bikes are getting ready, the mechanics are working their butts off, trying to get the bikes all sorted. The tape, I've used to tape it to the fence. Notice there's no disc on today. It's uh, very windy today, very windy. So, uh, the mechanic's working on a bike with a disc, but uh, I don't know, I don't know how many people will ride with discs on today, it'll be interesting. Those Katusha uh, Canyon time trial bikes, they are probably the best thing I've seen so far. We've seen what, about four or five trucks? Quite a few. Quite a yeah, we've few. seen quite a few. They stand out, don't they? They, they really stand out, they're beautiful. So we just caught up, Rob just said hello to Jared Gruber, who's a very, very, probably one of the best cycling photographers going around. He was up on the mountain yesterday when they, well, what, 100 metres from that incident? Yeah. What uh, happened, man? It was just, I, I guess, kind of the summation of a lot of what's been happening the last few years. I mean, the people were just going bonkers. I mean, most of them were obviously great fans and it was good energy, but there were definitely a, a significant minority that were way out of control and it's just uncalled for I guess. <laughs> yeah, it would have been disappointing I suppose just being there. Yeah, it, the crowd. yeah I mean it, after we saw what happened like we saw it on a highlight just like right after it happened like 30 seconds and then it's just like you can't believe it. You know you always think well this could happen and then all of a sudden it did happen and it's just like how's this possible you know? Yeah, I, it's unreal isn't it? Yeah, it's really like I, I hate to think that they'll have to put bears up in, on the race, but I really hope not. I just hope that people could just take a half a step back and just let people race their bikes, you know? Yeah. I mean, and that's what all do you it think? is. I mean, <laughs> you've been around the sport for a long time taking photos. What do you think about the fact that there's people now leaning in to try to get a selfie with the riders? I mean, I saw it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Crazy. I mean, it, and some, I have a friend uh, who's a rider who's just was talking about it, and it's just like this, this era of selfishness and like everything that everyone does. And, I guess people come here to watch this bike race, you know, like just appreciate it. Like if I didn't have to take pictures of a bike race, I think I'd just be happy to watch it, you know, just sit there with my barbecue and yeah. drink a beer, a beer, maybe yeah. three, you know, and, you know, just relax and have a good time, you know, and enjoy it. You don't have to cause crashes or any, you know, just, just watch it. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Jan who works for LCL and every day they have a little stand at the at the Ville des Parc and they hand out newspapers so we come and collect them and have a look through what, what the other media is writing about and he has a terrible job he has to drive around for the whole tour with all of the LCL hostesses and, uh, and hand out papers and smile 
What, what else do you do apart from talk about uh, the news and uh, the sponsors and then you, you spend a lot of time with Raymond Poulidor, don't you? Yes, Raymond Poulidor, which is a legend in France. So uh, I don't know if you know Raymond, but uh, he's the one who is, uh, he, he was eight times on the podium of the Tour de France. He's uh, really um, nice with people. People love him and he loves people as well. So uh, it's a real pleasure to have uh, him with us receive our guests on our stand, uh, try to share with them uh, the ambience of the Tour de France yep. with the hotels, with uh, the journalist who comes in our stand to take the press uh, and with the caravan as well. So uh, yes. it's our job. Great right job, man. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Bonjour l'Australie, les Australiens, les kangourous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. How good's that? Raymond Pulidoy. He looks amazing. Looks happy healthy chap, as. Isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's a happy chappy. Bit of uh, sporting uh, memorabilia. Yeah. Waving, smiling, and still loving it. So I've just been hanging out on the course, uh, having a, a coffee and just doing a little bit of editing and stuff. But uh, we're going to go back to the car now, head to the finish, and probably try and get a few of the riders. Here he is. Hey mate, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, for sure. So I've definitely noticed an increase in security today. Everyone's a little bit on edge. Uh, a lot, there's a lot more police here. We're only a very short distance from where the, the, uh, the, the attack happened last night, so. So again, Rob and I are walking amongst zone technique. Cables and shite everywhere. Look at that thing. Whoa, we haven't got a crane. I don't know what's going on there. Is it? So yeah, Rob just said it's to get the signal up because we're in the hills, we're in the mountains here. So they're obviously uh, pumping that thing up to get the signal. Genius, absolute genius. Talking with Karina, who's one of the soigneurs from uh, I Am Cycling or Yum Cycling. And she's from Finland, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And I uh, thought Mark might like to sort of introduce what the life of a soigneur on a time trial is all about. So, so what are you? So, what's your job in a nutshell? For people that don't know what a soigneur is, what does a soigneur do? And am I saying um, it correctly? Yeah. Well, I think we are doing pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> like. Uh, so you're virtually uh, team manager. <laughs> Normally, yeah, we do massage for the riders, yeah. and then we prepare the food. Sometimes, if uh, some races, if we don't have a chef or something, we assist on the riders always at the start. Yeah. And uh, also finish line. Like now, they are coming. I I give You've them you. something to drink. And if we have podium, then I need to go to podium and clean the yeah. rider. And so, how long have you been doing this job? I started with Yam Cycling 2013. So quite a while. Yeah. Right. There. That was it. That was <laughs> That's it. That was quickly. We're waiting to see Chris Boardman, but he's doing a telecast right now, and we know this because there's a red light on the door that says we can't go in. Is that right? That is correct. The red light means that TV's Chris Boardman is filming, is recording voiceovers for our show later. And because he's doing them now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get offside earlier and get to have a cool beer. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Here, mate. Come on, Come on. 
You gonna get a canyon? I don't do time trials. But uh, if I did, I'd have a look at that one. It's, it's uh, one of the best amazing. looking bikes I've ever seen. They really are stunning.